increased emergency cardiac arrest in acute coronary syndrome events associated with the COVID vaccine rollup in Israel and those aged 16 through 39. This is the new nature medicine study everyone is currently talking about. So is this true? Is this accurate? In this video, I'll say what most medical professionals are afraid to say. Let me also add in this video, we'll go over my new Substack post that summarizes this study and we'll also literally go through this paper together. If you don't want to invest any more time in this video and just want to know if there's an association between the COVID vaccine rollout and increased cardiovascular event EMS calls from Israeli EMS data, the answer the answer is absolutely yes. As the authors state, quote, the weekly emergency call counts were significantly associated with the rates of first and second vaccine doses administered to this age group, so 16 through 39, but were not associated with COVID-19 infection rates. To understand more about this, you'd be wise to watch the remainder of this video, but that's your call. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. Also, I have YouTube memberships now that give you access to more content. Just click the join button on the top right hand corner of my page. Anyways, let's get into this. I'm going to pull up my Substack post on this first. Hold on one second. Let me scroll down. Now, as you can see, I reported on this weeks ago. I'm going to highlight and read the summary of this to set the table. One second. Hold on. Okay, quote, mRNA vaccines significantly associated with a 25% higher rate cardiac arrest and acute coronary syndrome EMS calls, so a combined total of 90,000 plus, compared to COVID-19 infection during January through May 2021 versus 2019 through 2020, and those aged 16 through 39. So if you look below, those are the graphs showing increased cardiovascular events associated with the Israeli COVID vaccine rollout. But we'll get into those later. Let me open the actual study real quick. Hold on one second. So as you can see from the first yellow area, this data aims to evaluate the relationship between the vaccine rollout in Israel and cardiac problems measured by EMS or emergency medical system calls in those aged 16 to 39 years old, January through May 2021, compared to 2019 through 2020, so before the rollout. So here we have data before the vaccine rollout and after. We can compare the time when there was no vaccine to a time when there was. So I want you to look at the green underlined text here. It says, and I'll highlight this, hold on one second, quote, the emergency cardiac event calls were significantly associated with the rate of first and second COVID doses administered, but not with COVID infections. So they use the word associated. So that doesn't mean cause, but with all the recent myocarditis, pericarditis data, post-vaccination in the same age groups and cardiac arrhythmias we've been seeing, the data from the study begins to look very suspicious as a trend of cardiac events is continually being observed after vaccination. What could likely illuminate a causal relationship between these kinds of cardiac events and vaccination is more intricate data analysis and additional studies. The problem I feel anyway is that many of my medical peers are afraid of the consequences of attempting to publish such data. In other words, cancel culture. <laughs> so that's a huge problem. Anyways, before we go further, we need to define cardiac arrest in coronary syndrome. So let me pull up a John Hopkins review of what cardiac arrest is. Hold on one second. Now, as you can see here, cardiac arrest is when the heart stops beating. That means blood flow to other organs stops. And of course, that means a high probability of death because of lack of blood getting to other organs and to the brain. Now, next, let me pull up the definition of ACS. One second, hold on here. Now, acute coronary syndrome is an umbrella term of conditions where blood flow coming to the heart is stop. It's an absolute emergency. Both ACS and heart attack 
back our medical emergencies. Now that we've gone over that, let's hop back to the study. Hold on one sec. And now that we're here, let's scroll down to page four. Okay, it says results. Now, just so there's no confusion, this is a retrospective population-based study, meaning it looks back on data at a population level. So if you look here, of the 90,000 plus cardiac events, 945 plus 3,945 were based on calls made between individuals 16 and 39 years old. The 945 signifies the number of cardiac arrest calls in that age group and the other 3,945 is ACS calls made in the same age group. So that's about 5,000 total cases within this very small window of over a year since the vaccine rollup. Now let me scroll down to table one to give you a visual. One second, hold on. So if you look here, right here, there was a large increase of over 25% in both cardiac arrest emergency calls and acute coronary syndrome calls during January 2021 through May 2021 versus the same period in 2020 before the vaccine rollout. Now, if you look at the second and fourth yellow highlights, uh, the second shows an increase of 25.7% cardiac arrest counts. And the fourth highlight shows an increase of 26% in acute coronary syndrome counts. That's what I meant a minute ago when I said both were over 25%. Now, now, if you look at arguably the most important figures in this chart, the second and fourth yellow areas, you'll notice the p-values are statistically significant because they're very low. Um, the first p-value right here is 0.05 and the second one is 0.001. Essentially, that means according to this data in this study, the findings of 25% plus increased cardiac events are very accurate. If the p-value was say 0.723, it would wouldn't be as valuable as a finding. Now let me scroll down to the cardiac arrest graph so you can understand this a little bit better. Hold on one second. Okay, so as you can see the bottom line or x-axis is the date, right? and the y-axis denotes the number of cardiac arrest calls. Now, about halfway through the graph, right here, I'll highlight this, this signifies the vaccine rollout in Israel, and the two colored lines, purple and blue, signify the first and second vaccine doses administered. Now, the red line, which increases shortly after vaccine doses were administered, signifies an association between vaccination and cardiac arrest EMS calls. Remember that 25 plus percent increase we were talking about earlier? Earlier. Well, here's one part of it, and that comes from comparing the far left side of this graph, which essentially signifies when there were no vaccines rolled out yet, to the right side of this graph. So now let me scroll to the last graph. Hold on one second. So now this signifies the other 25 plus percent increase, which is associated with acute coronary syndrome EMS calls. Again, as you can see, there is a strong association between the purple and blue lines, which are dose one and two of the COVID vaccines, and that red line, which is the the surge of acute coronary syndrome calls compared to before the vaccine rollout. So what does all of this mean? It means, as the author stated, there's a strong association between the Israeli vaccine rollout and emergency cardiac calls. Historically, we've seen cases of myocarditis, pericarditis, arrhythmias, and other cardiometabolic problems associated with mRNA vaccines. So this just adds to the long list of studies associating cardiac issues to the vaccine. We need more data to show a causal relationship. So really more data analysts would need to step up and publish more if that's going to happen. As a final word, I feel these cardiac issues are becoming a trend and it's time medical professionals and public health officials step up and get to the bottom line here fast. Anyways, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything that you'd like to learn about in the future, please leave it in the comments section below and I'll see you on the next one.